We're coming at you from the Fint booth, Farm Progress Show 2023. I've got Arthur Santos with Fint. I've got Mike Evans from, of course, you know where, Extreme Ag. And we're talking about this Momentum 30 planter. It's 30 foot long. Last time you saw me and Arthur might have been from a video we shot at Commodity Classic. Pretty cool stuff because we talked about how you've got some technology that helps us cover a lot of undulating ground. Let's face it, right outside of Decatur, you don't need this, but much, much of the farm ground in the United States of America and even in other countries, you've got some undulation. So talk about this, pretty exciting because you also think it's cool that we have varying sizes of this new technology. Yes, we've launched the Momentum in 40 and 60 foot models three years ago when we were together in commodity. Right now, we're bringing a 30 foot version. And the idea is to bring all the proven technology that we have on Momentum to smaller farm operations, family owned farms that often struggle to be profitable, break even sometimes. So if we can bring all those ergonomic benefits and resulting to yield, we're helping farmers. Okay, clearly this is set up for soybeans, Mr. Evans. It's on 15 inch centers. Uh, you demoed uh, a, a Fent planter up there in area in Iowa where you have some undulating ground, let's face it. <laughs> You, uh, Garrett Land and Cattle, we've got some fields that I always say if they were in my part of the world, we'd put a ski chair or a chairlift on them and call it a ski slope. So talk to me about what you see here and what you saw when you demoed this. Yeah, so we had the 60 foot model out this spring at Kelly's, but this is the 15 inch 30 foot model. So it's a, to me, it's a bean planter more, of, more times than not. Yeah. And Kelly actually runs 15 inch bean planters. And when we're planting beans and we're trying to move the yield limits on beans, move them up. Uh, the planter is the first place to start. Well, in those undulations and ski slopes, like Damien says, the planter doesn't flex very well. It's got three flexion points on it. And when we go through valleys, one end, one side's digging yeah. and the other side's off the ground, not placing the seed where we need to. So with this, the ability to flex everything that the momentum offers, yeah. we're getting seed to soil contact where we want it. Arthur, before we started, uh, which by the way is really important because we talk about the more precision, especially when you're doing uh, reduced soybean population. Yep. If you're not, if you're going in at, you're plowing in six inches in some places and barely getting them in the ground in some places, so this would make a big difference. Something you're really excited about was the, that this has a lot more utility now that you're getting 40 foot, 50 foot, 60 foot, 30 foot, whatever. Yeah, so the, the, the ability of plant multi, in multiple farms and multiple crops and bring all the agronomy benefits that we can know that it's going to help with emergence. We know it's going to help with the yield. This is what's the best about momentum, that flexibility of operating in different terrains. We have an automatic tire inflation system, right. so we can deflate the tires all the way down to 15 PSI. Not only it allows you to have better traction, it also reduces compaction. Everything is happening because we measure the weight of the planter. Inside our rims, we have smart spindles. So we're literally measuring the weight of the planter in the wings and in the center. So the tar inflation, the precise weight transfer, everything works automatically and in a smart way. Not guessing, not estimating, not calculating the weight that we transfer. We precisely know how much weight we got to transfer from the heavy tanks in the center to the wings so we can have a good weight distribution and even emergence. All right, your favorite subject, Pintros. You haven't gotten to it yet. Is this something that you guys experience? Because you've got, obviously, the other thing, you got point rows and pintrows. I mean, all these kinds of things. When you don't have perfect square flat ground, um, there's a chance to lose yield because of your planter not being able to contour and work with all that. Did it help you get more seed in the ground at the right depth, at the right population? Yeah, like with the planter we used this spring, definitely saw the sprayer guy was spraying it and he could tell the difference between the momentum and the John Deere stock with better emergence. He felt the the uh, uh, corn was more even. Yeah. Um, so I think we're seeing the benefits of that system and the corn. And I think it'd be amplified with this rig behind us and the beans because you have more pintros. I mean, there's no tractor that's 15 inch centers or have 15 inch wheels. You got bigger tires, you're going over more rows and there's way more opportunity to have pintros and affect the germination of the seed. Arthur, I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you the truth. When I saw you come out of Classic, you, you kind of geeked out on planters and here you are, you're still doing it. So I wanna let you go because you, you seem to be really excited about planter technology and I feel like I'm the guy that's like, oh, I hadn't thought of that. What else did I miss when it comes to the technology? Even before we talk planters, we talk agronomy. This is great to have Mike here because we, we got to start with the problems and the agronomy and the solution, and we end up talking about planters. Right. So when you talk Pintro, every planter in the planet has tires next to each other, yep. right? You try to plant in the middle of two tires, you have compactions on both sides, 
it's going to impact your impact your root system hard, harder to uptake nutrients water it's going to impact your yield having the tires in front of each other that's a great benefit and it was purposefully designed so we have no pinch row you can plant thousands of acres and we will never leave a pinch row in the field and this will impact in how good that corn or that crop will look especially in the center frame got it yeah and i would say with the pinch row um, especially a 15 inch where that tire is in front yeah. of that row it's hard to get that seed in where it needs to be we see it on the downforce maps all the time that row is always up out of the ground so this makes a big difference outlook for the momentum uh by bringing in 30 foot you, you increase your customer base uh i know we're here at farm progress show arthur where it's all about big 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 bigger you know you get combines over here the size of small towns and you know it's all but this you're demonstrating something that has a heck of a lot of application to a lot more broad base of customers the the heart of uh, farming in america starts with the family farm right we know we have huge amazing farm operations but if we can bring all these benefits all this technology and make it available to guys that are farming 800 acres yeah. thousand acres this is making a difference so we'll continue to focus on the large ag now that we've brought the momentum family to a smaller the next one we're gonna go bigger I cannot get into a lot of details because that's future projects but we are we are focusing on that family farm that smaller farm operation so we can really bring those agronomy benefits to that uh, to the family farm well there's a lot of fields that a 30-foot planter is plenty big enough for oh yeah i mean this this this, this is plenty big for most uh, most uh, most operations and a lot of fields and even as operations grow everybody's got two or three planters you know kelly's got five right um so you know these fit in different scenarios and different places Fields with a bunch of terraces yep. fields where there's a lot more turning and whatnot this yep. is fits that bill all right his name is arthur santos his name is mike evans i'm dane mason coming at you the fit booth uh, farm progress show 2023 if you want to learn more about this where do they go i know you love people looking at your planners yes so um every single time we say go to our website fent.com uh, you can get all the information not only about our planters yeah. but the entire portfolio tractors track tractors combines the fenro gator and even learn more about gold star the three years full factory warranty that carries on all fan equipment i like it till next time thanks for being here share this with somebody you know it's the momentum momentum 30 footer and you know what as we always say hundreds of videos that you can learn about equipment agronomy seed feed feed chemical practices whatever for your farm extremeag.farm